Welcome to this short video on a basic question in knowledge management. What is knowledge? A question that will be answered by a frog, his friend the fish and a cow. So let me tell you the story. Our story takes place in a pond near a forest where a little fish and a little tadpole grow up together. The two are inseparable friends and go on many adventures together. Then one fine day the tadpole arrives in the morning and is very excited. Look at me, look at me. I guess I am no fish as you are because I got some legs overnight. Oh, come on, the fish answers. For how long do we know each other since we were born? And always we have been fishes and lived in a pond. And now stop talking and let's play. But as days go by, the fish can no longer deny that his friend is changing. And this does not make him happy. Maybe he already foresees what will happen. His friend, as an adult frog, climbs up the bank and leaves the pond. And so the fish is left alone in the pond. From time to time he wonders whether his friend the frog is well out there, outside the pond. Until, with a blithful blob, the frog jumps back into the pond. And again he is very excited because he made a lot of fantastic experiences. Experiences he would like to share with his friend the fish. And so he starts talking about what he saw. And the fish imagines. Amongst others, the cow, which according to the frog likes to eat grass, has four legs, horns and a rather big pink bag that the frog cannot really explain. How does this strange fish cow concern our topic knowledge management? What the frog passes on to his friend is not his knowledge about a cow. This knowledge is much too complex. It is an overlay of multiple and diverse visual, auditory, olfactory and maybe even haptic impressions, mixed up with data and facts, experiences, etc. To transfer, the frog has to, in a way, condense this complexity. Consciously or unconsciously, he selects information that describe a cow, legs, horns, other grass. What the frog passes on is not knowledge, but information. This information is processed by the fish. This means he integrates it into his mental models, links it to his existing knowledge, his personal experiences, his beliefs and values. And as he knows by long-lasting experience that all living beings do have flippers, he knows that a cow does have flippers too. His knowledge about a cow originates in a subjective process of information, integration and interpretation. One can also say knowledge is a subjective construction. It originates in information processed and interpreted by a human consciousness. Thank you for your attention.